oil. Healthy for you. While you're still with the World Focus, this time around we're focusing on the World Cup, thanks to Power Oil. Well, my name is Chidebre, and uh, it's been an exciting day in the world of sports, and especially if you are a fan of football, because the World Cup has kicked off today, and a lot of results. Let's start with France, where Kylian Mbappe's first half strike helped France overcome and eliminate a resilient Peru to earn a sport in the knockout round of the World Cup. Ricardo uh, Garesca's side, buoyed on by their passionate support inside the Ekaterinburg Arena, came alive in the second half after falling behind in the 34th minute, but ultimately could not find the equalizer that could have prevented their exit. Monaco Zimbabwe was the player to punish the Peruvians when he tapped in Olivier Giroud's deflected shot, coming after a period of France uh, dominance. Benfica's Andre Corillo, who was on loan at Watford last season, also tested Hugo Lloris' goal with a strike, while substitute uh, Jefferson for fan. Uh, hooked his efforts inside the side net and France's defence remained resolute to the final whistle although they have yet to convince fully that they are one of the favourites for the title. Pogba steals the ball off Guerrero. Here's Giroud. A deflection and Mbappe. Well, from all games from earlier today, Australia kept their hope of reaching the World Cup knockout stage after Mal Yedinak's pen penalty secured the first uh, Group C points against uh, Denmark. Christian Eriksen put Denmark ahead with a superb finish Absolutely after sir. Nikolai Jorgensen's uh, clever layoff. Australia leveled through Yedinak's penalty awarded after a video assistant referee review. A use of Paulson's close range handball was analyzed on video before the referee appointed uh, to the sport. In an absorbing encounter, Aston Villa's uh, Yedinak sent Kasper Schmeichel the wrong way for his second goal of the tournament. The point was enough to take Denmark to the top of the C on four points. Mazzani yeah. again and Lecky looking to cause trouble. But that's it. It's a draw. It's a point apiece. Denmark have four points. Australia only have. Well, in the other group, Nigeria's group, of course, Group D, where Argentina is currently playing uh, Croatia. Yes, uh, an error from the Argentine goalkeeper ensured that Croatia are one up, scored by striker. Rebic. It was a fantastic strike nonetheless. Argentina are down 1-0 against uh, Croatia. Well, it sits well for the Super Eagles who, if, uh, of course, permutations uh, have already started, win their game tomorrow, we might be in a very good position, you know, to progress to the next round. But let's go behind the scenes now in the World Cup. And uh, it's been a historic World Cup on the pitch and also off the pitch. And uh, some Iranian women uh, who traveled to Russia to support their national team experienced watching a World Cup game, in fact, any game at all, in a stadium for the first time when Iran beat Morocco on Friday. The Islamic Republic has bad women from attending male soccer matches and other sports fixtures uh, partly, uh, partly to protect them from this, uh, um, hearing fans uh, sweat. But uh, that is about to change as uh, Tehran's Azadi Stadium admitted women to watch Iran take on Spain. Of course, that game unfortunately ended with Iran losing. Now, uh, it, was, it was a really, really fantastic one for them. Let's hear their thoughts after that game. It's fantastic. I never uh, have this experience, and it was the first time I was in a stadium. I can't uh, uh, compare this with uh, any time. It was so cool. Uh, the last the game before this, Iran and Morocco, it was the first time that I could go to a stadium, and it was just so cool. I really enjoyed the game. I wish people be able, to, everyone be able to go to a stadium in Iran. After years, we are becoming to have all. All the women in the world are becoming to enjoy everything and our rights are being respected even more. We need to keep improving and we need to keep changing the situation, but I'm really happy for them because I love soccer. 
Well, it was a very good one for the women. Of course, we want more coming from them. Well, let's move to the Super Eagles now, where the Super Eagles face off with Iceland in Volgograd ahead of their second group game against Iceland on Friday at the 2018 World Cup in Russia. Our main man, Promise Efoghe, reports from Russia. This is Volgograd, a region of Russia situated at about 940 kilometers south of the capital, Moscow. This area inhabits about 1 million people and is well remembered to be a major battle site where more than 2 million persons were killed during the World War II. The former battleground will host the Nigeria vs Iceland match on Friday and both teams are ready for war. This is the Volgograd Arena and that is the pitch where Nigeria's World Cup fate will be decided. The Super Eagles arrived here on Thursday morning and had a feel of the 45,000 capacity stadium in the evening. Nigeria coach Kenneth Raw has no injury worry. All 23 players are fit and ready to feature. The Super Eagles will not be lacking support as the Nigeria Football Federation has mobilized Nigerians from far and near to cheer the team. Amongst invitees are former players, administrators, politicians and lawmakers. I think Nigeria should be a bit more positive. You know, this is the time that Super Eagles need your support. You know, um, especially this day of social media. There's a lot that goes on. These players read these things. Their family read them and uh, relate to them. And they can get despondent. We need to be positive about them. They are young lads who have done us proud. And I have no doubt they can still do us proud. I can tell you that the boys are fully charged up and the only thing that Nigerians expect and we were very clear in, in saying this to them that it is all victory that is needed at this time. I have the confidence on our players. They assure us they will not let us down. The Super Eagles are going to do very well, they are going to play very well and they are going to make Nigeria proud. It is a win or bust situation for Nigeria. The players and the crew are aware of this and they have promised to mount their wings like real eagles and fly above freezy Iceland. Promise Afoge, TVC News, Volgograd. Power Oil, healthy for you.